This is a moral imperative. This work is not just a nice to have. It's not just a, oh, won't it be great? Kids will know more about what they want. No, this is, I really believe that this is a moral imperative. This work that we do is just about empowerment and and giving our young people the literal and figurative tools to, to lead the change. The power of the Pathways to Prosperity Network is to bring together um, groupings from different states, from different regions across the United States that are grappling with common challenges. Pathways is about building wealth for young people. It's about building power so that young people can take their leadership space in the communities that they live and serve in. In Hawaii, I think we're in a moment in time where we realize how important the connection is between the education pipeline and our economy and industry. My hope is that we can reimagine education and youth development in a way that actually centers career readiness, applied knowledge and mastery of durable skills. And so what we're trying to do is create more of a systemic framework here that where there are certain elements in place of these regional partnerships then it, that really do take us from, um, you know, essentially cradle to career. What inspires me and drives me to do this work is that the future is uncertain and um, we're preparing young people for jobs that don't exist yet. And within that uncertainty though, the inspirational piece of that is that there's opportunity. As we can utilize the Pathways work nationally to really promote in Arizona, the idea of how do we make sure that every young person has access, uh, equitable access to a post-secondary pathway starting in high school. If we can better align our systems, our funding, our grants, our programs, what then the user the public experiences is a more streamlined uh, uh, pathway to the opportunities that are the best for them uh, and for the best for our state and our communities. I used to think that access was the key to helping more young people fulfill their aspirations in life. And I now understand that equity is actually the key. First and foremost, uh, we are stronger together. Um, so I hope the field comes together. I hope that we are able to collectively create. So our next steps within the Pathways work is really to make certain that every student has the equitable opportunity to really embrace um, their future self-vision.